Friends. Lurkers. Polygons. Lend me your skill. Uh, hang on, let me Google the rest of this real quick. Uh, I come not. I come to bury N64 games, and to praise them. The scrubbiness that men do lives after them. The skill is often turred with their achievements and gamer score. So let it be with me. How are you? How's it going? A Scythe, Karthus, Nivik Viking, Dorky on TV, Lurkland. Hello, my name is Mr. Radon. Welcome to a Saturday evening stream. I know I've been saying for the past couple weeks that Saturday streams are for the daytime, but look. I, uh. What's up, Cora? I, I've been I've been sleeping not much during the week and over the past 24 hours uh, how much should I probably like 14 hours <laughs> I got home after work last night I had a big bag of barbecue I took my pants off and I went to bed I woke up in the middle of the night didn't really do much watched some YouTube worked a little bit went back to bed woke up Finished my work, ate, watched a little more YouTube, here we are. Productive. Uh, peak male performance. And so on, and so forth. Speaking of... Yeah, Molly. 14 hour sleep club. It was all at once? Oh, those are... Those are dangerous. I usually wake up from a 14 hour stretch feeling shitty. I did 7 down, 7 up, 7 down. I feel alright, but I don't know how it's going to affect my week next week. It's my fault. I stayed up all night, like every night this week, instead of going to bed at a reasonable hour. It's my fault. <sighs> how's, it, how's it going, everybody? How's it doing? Habaduba. Habaduba? Y'all habaduba? Hey, y'all habaduba? We're going to be playing some Fighter's Destiny today, trying to wrap this up. I don't think we will, because survival mode's going to be a bitch. Plus, we got to unlock all the moves still with characters that aren't as good as Bob. That's going to be tough. Dorky's got a pack. Pack it up. Pack it up. we got some pickups to do later today. I'm gonna scratch my leg. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We going over here? Let's go over here. Seventy percent complete. Almost eight hours in. I mean, theoretically, we could just do this real quick and be done with this game. But probably not. But probably not. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's go ahead and pull up my timer. Now let's play some Fighter's Destiny, y'all. Thank you for dealing with me being gone for the past couple days. I've just been exhausted. It was a it was a long week. I needed some some moi time. This is a pretty legit title screen game, honestly. Like, this game really could have been a defining title, I think. It just. It's a little too bland, it's a little too bumpy. What's up, Prince Matt? I was taking a big 48 hour PP. 
Uh, I just lost 300 pounds in water weight. And, um, my whole equipment is just sore from the muscles being tensed to release urine for insane amounts of time. We have to unlock all the moves with all the characters, so we gotta go through Master Challenge with the- with nine of the ten original characters, and then we gotta do Survival. Let's start with Survival, though. Let's start there. I'm fresh. You know, maybe I- maybe I have it in me right now. I probably don't. Be prepared. Yeah, the other equipment- I'm just covered in urine. Get God. Re ready. Fight. Ah. Ah. Gotta remember my moves. Stunning player two. Three point one. Timer's going. It's ready. Fight. That was a very good move. Bow, 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 bow. Stunning player two. Oh. Three point one. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Ready! Fight! Yes! What's happening here? Do the choppies! Unlocking the other moves isn't gonna be too tough. I gotta find some decent Let's cheese with a lot of the characters, and I just have to not ever lose to Joker. If I don't lose to Joker, we can do it in more than one attempt. But it'll take a little bit of work. A little bit of work. We're just ready. Fight! Wow! Come on! Yes, yeah, there are ten save slots, just enough for one for each character. The Joker, baby. Joker's trick. One hundred win. Ah, Z fan, what's up? <laughs> God damn it! Ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Karthus. You just have to pick the right game. It's got to be a chill game, you know? <sighs> so what's everyone been up to this week? I've been, I've been missing a lot of you guys, I think. What's going on? What's the good news? What's the good word? How many pizzas have you eaten this week? Work, sick in bed for four days work. Jeez, what are you sick with? Hopefully you're feeling better now. I... Mm, okay. The flu. Ooh. Destiny. Okay, master challenge. Let's go with the great Leon. New super played a cool trick on you to haze you. Work, walking the dog, and sleeping. What about all the what about all the alcohol? Big chillin', drawing, grinding in Dragon Quest 8, and have eaten four slices of pizza. That's pretty good. Four slices of pizza okay, is a good amount. You know? Ready. It's enough to be satisfied, but it's not, like, enough to feel guilty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember how to play Leon. Kind of. Oh, 
Ah! I'm gonna lose on points. Hello, Quicks. Gave your keys to somebody else. Oh shit. My, uh, what's my knockdown again? Dragon Riser. One point one. Ready. Fight. I get low profiles. It, if he'd stop going. Ugh. There we go. There we go. That's the sauce. No. Not not even close. My best is like 23. Man, having a low profile knockdown is so valuable in this game, at least at least for cheesing purposes. Although I'm nervous about the fact that that one moves me backwards. Rush me. Fidel cash flow, how's it going? I'll give up a point, that's fine. Yeah, he, he does not give a shit about that punch right there. What are my other knockdowns? Nope, that's the only one he's got. Yikes. Okay. Back knuckle rise. That seems so, so vulnerable. <laughs> well, Joker loves it, though. Joker loves it. Unlocking moves. Alright, it's okay. points there? No. He did too much damage to me. I got a decent amount of uh, combos, but not anything big enough to tip the scales in my favor. Come on. 
Much damage again. Lose on points again. Oof. 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 Got him. Got him. Let me do something real quick here. I gotta do a bit of work for a second. There we go. Oh, shit. Well, this is kind of good. If we can get all the Joker fights out of the way. I have nothing to be afraid of at that point. Oh, he's doing the fucking weird dance. I blew that, man. That was a free win. Still got it. Still got it. Got me with the quickness. I gotta learn how to get better in those situations. I gotta block more. I really don't value defense in this game as much as I should. Turn the fuck around! Almost blew that one. Let's go! Get ready! Oh shit! Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. I don't really don't know how the brakes work in this game. I really, really don't. Yeah, computer's getting smart. Catching wise to my shit. No one had ever fought before until the master came along. We lose on points. Yeah. Slow bout, but now I'm one loss away from losing. 
losing the whole shit. His spacing is so crisp. I hate it. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's game over. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Keep going. I need Sun Knuckle. Get ready! Fight! Move! Keep going! Get! I need a better B and B off of that counter hit launch. Keep going! Nothing to lose! Come on! Sunny! Keep going! Oh, Leon's shit feels so slow. Ready. Fight. Wow. Nice move. Come on. Good job. Yeah, you get health back in this game. Come on. For standing still. Or rather for yeah. Or not, I don't know. You do get health back. Everyone gets health back in this game, that's a thing. The actual conditions for that, I'm not 100% clear on. Damn it. Are one and two point wins actually easier? It, it's situational. They're not necessarily easier, but there are certain points in the game where you might be tempted to go for a bigger point win rather than shooting for a one or a two. I'd say twos are probably theoretically the easiest, because all you have to do is land a throw. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. Come back. I think that's what I gotta do differently. I want knockdown spam to pay off. I gotta draw him in. He knows to avoid me from way back, but if I get up in his grill and start doing it, he'll throw shit out to try and beat it, even though at low profiles. Good job. Spin kick is a knock. Okay, we got a new knockdown. Back, back, B, down, B. Let's see how that works. This is the critical fight. We have to win this fight. If we, been, if we win this fight, we're in a really good spot.
that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that seems okay. That seems like an okay move. Bone zone. Okay. House money. We can't lose here. We can only make it harder. Tom likes punch. Thank you for the follow. How's it going? Welcome to this adequate video game. I'm pretty sure I broke that. Really? I never played Tabal, actually. I've never ever played one of the Tabal games. So it's like a counter knockdown combo. That seems really fucking good. Ugh. Rainbow Riser. Otaku. Oh. I see. I see the issue with this move. Uh, I got a lot of sleep. It was pretty good. I slept in shifts. After all that, only giving up one point, not the worst. Just keep him out. Don't let him in. One pathetic point. <laughs> One pathetic point. You love it. Outside spike. Let's go. Stupid round. Ready. Fight. Keep going. Watch out. Move. Nothing to lose. Okay, I see the benefit of that. Just a nice simple high launcher. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's a pretty solid tool. Move! Hey, Sonny, play a 
Butt punch for the win. It's really weird that this game has like really brain dead built in string defense. Like there's a 50, there's a defensive 50 50 in this game that's surprisingly effective. I can't think of a game with a mechanic like that. Really? Man, I lose. Fuck! That's a really bad loss right there. It's gonna take me so long to get to that move. I can't be defeated by youngsters yet. Getting big Pokemon Stadium vibes. I can see it. He talks a lot. He's pretty pumped. I can definitely see it. Wow! Nothing to lose. Did my other knockdown move get, like, overwritten? Weird. Just wait till Stadium 2? That's right. That is correct. Damn it. Ready. Fight. Um, it would probably get the standard like thirty two or whatever that most Evo side games can get. Helpless right now. I can't get anything going against him. There we go. Ready. Fight. Ah, caught me. Fuck. <sighs> Alright, so I missed out on four skills there. Not a great outcome, but... Okay. Early Joker. Uh, yeah. So every time you beat a master, you get a move. But if you lose to a master, you don't get a move. There's eight moves for each character to unlock, so in order to get all of them in one go, you have to beat all eight masters. But. You do get to keep the move that you had, um, as long as you don't lose to a Joker. If you ever lose to a Joker, all the moves you've learned for that character get deleted. Easy eight. 
all the moves you learned in total. It's a battle card. Okay, this is one of the ones that I missed. Ready. Careful. Come on. That was a very good move. Come on. Let's go. God, the range on that sucks so bad. Combo points help. Yes. I'm just using the stock N64 controller right now. I've got a couple different ones. They've all broken on me to some degree, and I need to buy like two or three more, but at the moment, just using an OEM N64 controller with a GameCube stick style replacement that I'm not using for this game. I'm using the D-pad. No, I don't think so. This is only a four button game. You don't need like a crazy setup. D pad and four buttons works perfectly for this. No uh no NES advantage for the 64, no. What's up, VK? Baka. Had to remember. He's dodging a lot. I bet I could grab him. Or just win on points. I've, I've said it many, many times, but as long as you're not the kind of person who uses an analog stick for fighting games, the N64 was a great fighting game controller had they actually released fighting games for it. You've got a nice wide grip, you've got six buttons, just like a Mad Cat's fight pad right there, and a good D-pad. You didn't need anything else. But... There ended up not being more than like a dozen fighters for the system, so... Okay. Oh, we already finished Cruising USA. It's all done. It's the joke of Bebe. Hey! Okay, only giving up one point there is the best way. There is zero story to this game. No, there is absolutely no story to this game. There's not even character bios in the manual. Like, maybe in the Japanese one there are. He's gonna beat me. He's gonna fucking beat me! Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, having the little, like, weird, sort of, like, kinetic logos for each of the modes is really cool. I agree, I like that a lot. And that's go. Okay, this ready. Fight. Be careful. Yeah. Move. All right, this is a must win for me. On, He's got one of the moves move. I need. Three, two, one. Ready. Fight. Yeah. Move. Three, two, one. Ready. Well, that character's name is the Joker, so he's like, you know, the Joker in the deck of cards. It's slow, but it spaces really well. Like, if you line it up right, it's pretty hard to get in on. No, I already had that skill, too. He's giving me all the skill- oh, no. Oh, no, I think I might know what this game is doing right now. <laughs> it's not good. This is gonna be the down B launcher. That's right, another Majoker and Master, that's all you fight in this mode. I am pretty positive he's gonna give me the down B launcher if I beat him. Uh, well that's what I'm trying to figure out. The game does give you the moves in a specific order, but I think because I earned four moves last time, they're going to give me those four moves back for the first easier four AI opponents. Is my theory. Because I whiffed on moves like two and three last time, and they didn't give me anything new this time. Craig the Retronaut, thank you for the raid. How's it going? How's the siphon filter too? What's up, Videla? Down B launcher? No, okay. That move looks fucked. Yeah, I agree. Siphon Filter 2 is good. I need to finish that one these days. Talking about win back. Ready, fight. Oh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is a super common, super cheap N64 game. Win back was originally an N64 game that got ported to PS2. And I think might be the only game that got that treatment. Something that started on N64 and got ported up to, N6, uh, to PS2. Ah! Okay. Got a point. I think the PS1 version is supposed to be better for Mission Impossible. Oh god, Combo City! <sighs> that was really close. That was a very good move. 
Nice. Good damage. No! Got him. Alright. Battle K Road? Yeah. No wake up game in this. No Okies. Jackal Spin Combo 2. Doesn't look good. Uh, yeah, I think you're right about that out card. Yeah, because it got, it got sent to Dreamcast. Alright. Yeah, there we go. There's always high stakes in this game is the problem. <laughs> Once you get through versus com mode, the game is designed around risk taking. So it is always tense. Yeah, the Resident Evil 2 port on N64 is great. It's really, really good. Where's Mr. Ass? Mr. Ass is locked in a box right now and he can't be set free until enough people look at butt porn. What's up, Tom? I think that's the problem I'm having, it's just like the actual grab command in this game is really hard for me to hit. Grab him. End it. Very good. We are just warming up now. Uh, we already did Goldeneye with all cheats. Ready. Yeah, we already did that one. It was fun. I'm a big fan of Goldeneye. Uh, PS2. There's a lot of really good horror games from that era. Think I'm in the lead? Yeah, I'm in the lead. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Ah! Okay, just give up the one point. That was perfect. <laughs> that was the best thing could happen there. Let him have one point. That's fine. Come on. 
Wonderful! Keep him out. That's all you gotta do. Winner. I am impressed. I Get ready. Fight. Be careful. Watch out. Move. Doing pretty good. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna win on points. A slow, boring round, but one on points. Not this one, though. Not this one. <laughs> there we go. One more of those. One more of those. Christ! Shit, okay, this is bad. This is real bad. Ready! I can't give him the ring out. He'll win. He wins on anything. Oh shit! Yes! <laughs> uh. I think I have all the moves now, maybe. Okay, this is ideal. Wondrous video performance. Damn it. If I can win this, it's, I'm, it's confirmed. Like, I definitely have Leon's moves unlocked. So I'd rather just do that and remove any uncertainties. No! I just needed one hit and I couldn't get it. Damn it. Damn it! Now I'm not sure. Winner! Now I'm not sure. And I don't know how to check either. Is the shitty thing.
Come on. Taunting fisherman. Okay, outside spike is on the list. That's a complete. We do have everything. Whew. Okay. All right. I am willing to bump our completion percentage for that. I'm gonna put us at 75. That's scary. All right. Let's try. Uh, nope. Let's try survival again. Big bumping. No. Nope, everyone has a unique move list in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's challenge. Ready, fight! Bob from Bra. Come on! Bob Bra. Stunning player two. Come on. Right back. So the goal in this mode is to beat 100 enemies in a row. Winner! Which is impossible. Ready, fight! But if we can do it, we'll unlock the last character. It's a really, really good button. The second hit is like perfectly timed to stop most interrupts. It scores knockdowns on stunned enemies. It's really safe. We're just Ready. Fight. Uh this was published in the West by Ocean, published in Japan by Imagineer, made by Genki and Opus. Ladies and ready, fight! Look at this background, though. Oh, yeah, I know the stage you're talking about. Just Bob Sap? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> One of the biggest knocks I have with this game is how uninteresting the characters are. Like, there's some really good unlock characters that have a lot of, like, fun flavor to them that are very Sega-like, but, like, I just don't care about any of these characters. They're all super fucking boring. Ladies and ready, fight! Good job! Nice move! Yeah. Uh, wow! Come on, let's do it! Oh, player two! Yeah. Three points, one! Winner! Yeah, not a lot you can do with a desert. Ready, fight! Come on! And they did a really good job with the secret characters, but yeah, this is survival mode. Winner. Okay. Ready. Fight. Tiny stage. You're in a desert. When were you in a desert? Mm -hmm. 
It's time to fuck. Ready. Fight. It's time to fuck. Come on, that was a very good. Oh move. yeah. Johnny, yep. Three point one. Winner. Okay. Ready. Fight. That was a very good move. Three point one. Winner. Okay, this ready. Fight. Bob versus Pierre. One of the great esports moments. Everyone's everyone's a fan of that matchup. Winner. Get ready. Fight. That was a very good move. Come on. Stunning player two. Uh, no! He's my best character. I don't know if he's the king of cheese or even good. He's just the character that I'm the best with. He's got brain dead safe options. And as someone who's trying to cover a lot of ground, I can't dedicate time to learning A tier Fighter's Destiny tech, you know? <laughs> if I do that, it's gonna delay everything else. No, you son of a bitch! Ah, we lose. <laughs> ah, this game sucks, but it's good. But it sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, ready, fight! Wow! That is a cow. Yeah, what's up, Odessa? He is a very balls-like character. Yeah, there's character design if you get to the unlock characters. <laughs> and only if you get to the unlock characters. Beef Ali is the name of this move. It's pretty good. Maybe I just have to go for timeouts. Like, it'll be super long. It'll take, like, an hour. Never mind, please. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I, I'm just, I'm not good enough in this game, I don't think, to do this. Unless... Just one ready fight. I'm the hero. Didn't he have something that was like super fucking safe? What was it? I think I just cheesed the computer with his insanely good knockdown, which is not going to work a hundred times. But, you know, whatever, we'll try it. Because it is really fucking good. It really might be the best move in the game that I've found. Like it low profiles, it moves forward a lot. 
it can instant KOs. It only really loses to sweeps. Like, it beats everything else. He's doing a Mario jump. Oh no! Oh no! Kurala! Oh shit! Tomahawk, you bitch! <laughs> Already falling apart. Six stages in. First input, and I had to struggle the rest of the way. Everyone can move instant kill moves all the time in this game. That is a feature of this game, Cassette King. Just back up, just back. Good. One point one. Winner. We are just ready. Fight out. I move. No good. I know now. Three point one. Winner. Ready. Fight. Good job. Really? I didn't break the counter throw? Really? No, nah, it's not gonna work, Cassette King. I'm I'm trying anything I can think of, but it's not gonna work. I don't know how I'm gonna beat that mode. I really don't. <sighs> Alright. Um Can Boro learn moves? Let's figure that out. I assume so, since she's pickable in this mode, and none of the other unlocks are. It's time. Ready. Fight. Uh, I need some refreshers here. Lock skill. It's gotta be from behind, I don't wanna rely on that. I think it's Abdul, I really do. I think Abdul has the safest knockdown. Ah, uh, does Boro not have one at all? Holy shit, you gotta unlock one for her? Hmm. But the closest she's got is a counter hit. 4 4 B. It's gonna take forever, but let's get ring outs with her. Oh, 
a very good move. This is the plan, I guess. It's not a good plan. Forever. I mean, I kind of know where they're going with her since she has one of the few submission moves in the game, but those are, like, it's only when your opponent is facing away from you. Like, that's a really big ask. Favorite Joker? Why would you put that on me? Why would you do that? <laughs> Joker is weak. Point one. <laughs> now I keep putting decimal points in there. It's not doing a very good job. High low sidekick. Okay, ready. That ready. Hey, Fighter's Destiny announcer, what's your favorite, uh... What's your favorite version of Windows? That was a good one. Classic, yeah. I'm very proud of myself. I'm always proud of myself. Oh, 
scale of one to five? Let's see. What do you think, Fighter's Destiny announcer? Yeah, I'd probably put it there too. It's pretty. It's above average, but not by much. You know. Oh man, if I can get a five going. Woo. Catch up on your records. Joint Sky Cannon. Let's go. Yeah, that does a shitload of damage. That shit hits like a fucking truck. That seems like a pretty good move to me. No. Jokers are just there to steal your moves. You don't get moves from them. They're the Bowser spaces. Yeah, if you lose to a Joker, you lose all the moves that you learned. Yep. Now, I will say this. I can't do anything about the survival modes on Locked Edition, but knowing that I can spam the computer with Abdul, it is there is a mechanic in this game that would allow me to cheat my way through Master Challenge mode. All I need is a second memory card, which I have. Alright, I got you, Tom. Hang on. Hey, Fighter's Destiny announcer. Uh, out of one to three, how good is Tom? That's even bigger. That's bigger than the highest score. Wow. What's up, Scotty? That was a very good move. Plain step kick. That seems so slow. No, 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 no. Not that move. Not that move. No, thank you. Hey, ready. Yeah, you can wager your learned moves against another character, another player's character, and the winner gets moves, and the loser gets loses moves, and if they're out of moves, they get deleted off the memory card. Yeah, you can fight your friends for pink slips. What's up, DJ Plays? A Moon Patrol clone? Moon Patrol's pretty dope. Yeah, I have everybody else. I just have to unlock moves. And I have to unlock Joker. Rainbow Somersault 2. That seems pretty good. It seems like it's going to be tough to input, but it seems good. Ugh. Yeah, they have a loser cam. Which is a good mechanic for this game. There are other games with unlockable moves. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but it, they do exist. None of them, like the mainstream like fighters, have it though. I think. Damn it. No Mercy does have unlocked moves, yes. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can't really get rung out by, like, normal fighting methods, like, it's not like other games with ring outs, there's a, there's a magnet to it. Why does that move have no range? What's up, Dan Almighty? Yes. One point one. <sighs> Winner. Oh, there's a, there it is. That's a fucked input. <laughs> but we got one. We got a knockdown. You want to give it a shot? I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I am, uh, I know what I'm doing, Nivik, but I'm the kind of person that I don't trust my, uh, my input windows in any fighting game, so I always push everything I can, like, six times more than I need to. Okay, this is dangerous. <laughs> There's three jokers left. Mao Sokyaki 2. Uh, it seems okay, but that input again. Alright, it's joker time. It's spaghetti time. You know, that was the problem with a lot of these, like, second-tier fighters, especially in the mid-90s. And it really only ever worked for Mortal Kombat. But everyone kind of decided they were going to not just copy Street Fighter's inputs, even if they copied Street Fighter's, like, characters and other mechanics. And so you end up with just, like, some really fucked-up inputs, like... Part of what makes Capcom fighters endure as much as they have, I think, is the fact that the inputs are very sensible. Like, from just a gameplay perspective, the commands that you have to put in to do things make sense. Oh, good. I'm gonna lose the Joker. Yeah, Weapon Lord, Primal Rage type shit. Nah, I slept until like 4.30pm. I'm just using the D-pad. This feels great. <laughs> I, I'll say it every time someone brings it up. The N64 should have been the home to fighting games because the controller is perfect for it. Be careful here. Got him. I don't really think they need to be... If you play claw style, it's like... It doesn't necessarily need to be the same size. Okay. Yes. Alright. Let's win this. Ready. Wow. Going. 
Oh, good. Good. Good start. Fuck, I hate throws. I'll take the seven short wins if that's what it takes. I maybe could have stretched that into a three-point win, but... Alright, this one for sure needs to be a three-pointer. Shit. Horrible start. Horrible start. Just give me the ring out. Just give me the ring out. <sighs> Just give me the ring out. There we go. <laughs> What? What? Wow. 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 Shit. Uh. No! No! Alright, what's the move I'm missing? Five back fist. Alright. Damn it. The second we unlock the five back fist, we save and quit. We cash out. We're done with Boro. Maybe the order's randomized. Yeah, they weren't in the right order last time with, with Leon. So. Boro's a really good character if you're playing this game honestly. <laughs> If you're just trying to like go for one hit KOs and just finish it real quick, she's not really equipped for that. But she's pretty overwhelming. Alright, Craig, thank you for the raid. Have a good one. I'll see you around. Craig the Retronaut. Check him out. Check out that man. Hey! Alright, cool. Ah, uh, this one has the cow. This one has the cow. Okay. We haven't done Bob yet. Be prepared. Be prepared. We already unlocked the cow. The cow's been unlocked. He's just not playable in this mode. Ladies and ready! You can't play any of the secret characters except for Boro in this mode. I never played Halo 4, like ever. I went from 3 to Reach. 
one. Ready. Fight. Chop, chop. Step hammer. That's a Jeffrey ass move right there. That is a Jeffrey ass move. Damn it. Touches <laughs> decision. One point. One. Ready. Fight. Be careful. Move. Be careful. Yes. I never liked Halo multiplayer though. I like the co-op. I did not like playing like Slayer and shit. Dry bullhead. I shall give you a skill. I just feel like the shield system in Halo slows multiplayer down so much. Like it makes for really intense single player moments or campaign moments. But I find it really boring from a multiplayer perspective. That was a very good move! 3.1! Ready! Fight! Be careful! Now, 3.1! That's one of the reasons that I gravitated toward Counter-Strike as much as I did, is just the, uh, the damage output is so high in that game. I like quick kills, I don't like... I don't like games where you can kind of have a drawn-out firefight with moments of recharging health or shield. I prefer HP regen to health packs, but yeah. The JP Body Blow is a knockdown move, and it looks like it sucks. Uh, I'd buy a Dance Rush at the top of my list. I'd buy a dance rush stardom. Let's call. We're just ready. Fight. Wow. Come on, let's do it. Hey, stop pushing move. buttons. It's my it's my turn to push buttons. My turn. Not your turn. No, I don't think this game has armor. Ready. There are counter skills which are like they're exactly what they say they are and like at a certain health I think they are instant kill. Like if your opponent's in the uh the purple or the lower I wanna say. I wanna say that uh it's an instant three points if you land a counter. But I don't think anything actually has armor properties. Nah, there's fucking so little information about this game out there. Evil Hammer. I'm a little nervous that I haven't hit a Joker yet. <laughs> I, don't, I prefer to get them out of the way early. Going. Ah. Hey, 
damn it. Bob's not known for his speed, that's for sure. Thrashing crash. All right, this could be the last round. Wow! Good job. Keep going. Watch out! Move. I get him on points. Yeah. One point. One. Ready. Fight. Yeah, it's KI in a nutshell. <laughs> Keep going. Watch out. The kind of game that everybody wants to play but doesn't play. Winner. Double Horizon Chop. There's our first Joker. Ready, fight. Oh shit! Damn it. It's the one saving grace about fighting Joker is that his he will go for instance on every knockdown, he'll go for the four-point play. But his specials are actually really bad. So long as you hold back and mash out, he'll never hit you with them unless you're up against a wall. But this is uh, this is crucial right here. God, he's got so much priority is the problem. So much faster than everything Bob does. Got him! Back to back. Uh, I think I just found the, the sauce. Ah, fuck. I found it and I blew it. <laughs> cool. Alright. I'll take the pity point. Last of the dinosaurs, how's it going? Done in by 3D fighter inputs. Good. 
Is Arcana hard on Steam? I had no idea. Honestly, this little tweak to my, uh, my Bob plan may... may be, uh, useful in survival mode. I have to see. I might do the trick. Might do the trick! Yeah, this CPU definitely input reads. I have zero doubt of that. Just the way it breaks throws is like offensively consistent. <laughs> Learning. Loves the rush down so much. Thumb is already hurting tonight. Like, I'm honestly thinking about running two games at once when I'm playing fighters because it's it's just so exhausting. <laughs> Taking those three. You can't rob me of those three points, Master. Stub. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, damn, damn, bad luck. Gotta win this. Don't. <sighs> Thank you, Thrash Crash. It's gonna be tough. I didn't know it was going to be tough, but it's going to be tough. It's a smart thing to do. 
Can't be mad at the computer for that. Yep. That last unlock condition is a doozy. Yep. I'm gonna have to learn some kind of just like solid strat. Whether it's cheesy or not, I'm just learn something that's Extremely effective and safe. Ready. Come on. And even then, it's going to take like maximum effort on my part. Yeah, probably luck. It's one of those unlock conditions I have to wonder, like, how many people in the world ever actually did. Alright, Bob's done. Four out of ten. I'm gonna give myself an eighty for that. Uh, there are a couple videos on YouTube of people pulling it off. There's like three or four videos of it, but that's it. Winner! Everybody knows the toughest guys around. Bob. Bob. You guys want to see some pickups? Let me stop the clock, do pickups for a little bit. I have five pickups today. Give my hand a break. Hand break. I got some shit I bought at work. Some collection fodder. What's up, Borky Bork? I got Ultimate Board Game Collection for the PS2. 20 classics from around the world. Uh, chess, checkers, anagrams, backgammon, concentration, dominoes, a hundred jigsaw puzzles, go, mancala, Chinese checkers, mahjong. Um, win trophies for special achievements in each game. There you go. Ultimate board game collection for the PS2. I've got... Uh, Counterforce for the Wii. Counterforce for the Wii is one of those immediate budget bin games from Conspiracy. A game by Hyper Devbox. Uh, Fast and Furious 3D shoot 'em up style. Up to 12 different enemies and 5 different bosses. Shop to upgrade your robot's features and build your strategy. Original soundtrack with high energy beat. Counterforce. Fast and Furious Shmup, yep. It looks okay. Like, it might be a fun little diversion, you know? And I got some stuff to open here. What should we open? Let's open this guy first. Where's my knife? Where's my knife at? As paid for by stream donors. We have a copy of Scars for the N64, which has a missile on the front of it and is rated E. Scars. I'm sorry, S.C.A.R.S. 
No dot after the S on this one. Label's a little scratched up, but not too damaged. It just has like those kind of nail creases in it. Uh, but otherwise in pretty good shape here. Rated E for missiles. There you go. Scars. Super, super Computer Animal Racing Simulator. Is that what it stands for? I thought it had cars in it. I thought it stood for, like, super cars. I have a box from Japan here. Japanese box. Pack and slip. We got some Japanese newspaper in here. You guys want to see what's going on in the Japanese news? It's all ripped up. It's hard to tell. Oh, this is a, there's a motorcycle race. Or a motorcycle training course or something. There's uh, this little cartoon man. Glasses, ads for glasses. Kimono Princess. I don't know what that's for, it just says Kimono Princess. Iggy's Wrecking Balls is a racing game. It absolutely is. But that's enough Japanese newspaper. What's in the what's in the Japanese box with the Japanese newspaper? Why this thing right here? It's a platformer racer. The gameplay is built around racing, but it is a a platformer mechanically. Super Famicom cartridge from Japan. But what Super Famicom game is it? Well, it's Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. Ease. I've never played Ease 4. I think there's like three different versions of it too. It's either Ease 4 or Ease 5 that like it plays completely differently depending on which console you're playing it on. But Ease is fun. I like them. I'd like to play through all of them at some point. And, uh, there you go. There it is. Super good shape. The guy said he replaced the battery in it, too, so... And the remake is the real one after retconning. Alright, we got one more package. And it also is from Japan. In fact... It's from motherfucking Book Off! Let's go! Book Off! Book Off! Book Off! Now, who here likes N64 games? Anyone here like N64 games? Anyone here like Japanese N64 games? Anyone in here like CIB Japanese N64 games? Cause that's what I got. I have Yakucho 2 Satsujin Koro, the only sound novel for the N64. This game is like nothing but Japanese text and sound effects. But it's in super good shape. Box is a little scuffed on the top. Yeah, CIB. 
CIB from Book Off was cheaper than the cheapest eBay auction for, uh, for a cart. So there we go. Yakucho 2. Ya ya Yakochu. Ya I keep saying Yakucho, it's Yakochu. Yakochu 2. Satsujin Koro. be a dramatic one with a lot of on-screen translation. There we go. And that's my pickups for the week. How much did I pay for that? I paid about 30 bucks after shipping. 30 bucks after shipping for that game. Because Book Off is the best. Book off is the king of secondhand stores. Alright, give my thumb a break here. A Ritz camera package from Japan, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so we've done uh, Bob and Leon and Boro and Abdul. We got six characters left. I think a big part of it, like, I don't know how big the save files are, actually, because what, like, a, a standard memory card's like one meg, right? But then you think about the fact that some games on the N64 are like four or eight meg carts. And so, yeah, you, you can cut cost a little bit if you... If you're like, well, here's our game, and we're going over the memory limit. Let's just offload the save to the uh, to the controller pack instead. Is it 8K standard? That is pretty small. Ready now? All the Joker is in a row this time. <laughs> Get <laughs> you just said you don't mind it, but like, less than three minutes ago, you said you hated it so much. <laughs> 256k? Oh, 32k, but kilobytes. Alright. I need to learn how to play Valerie, I guess. I know I relied on our counter a lot. Dragon Palm. Back forward back B. Not gonna let me do it. I just lost to round one Joker. <laughs> Alright. Maybe not. Maybe not this. Your skills have abandoned you. Let's see if, uh, Bob Pokes is the way to go. We're just ready! Nope. Never figured it out. I think that move is so safe that if I can just nail it 98% of the time, I might win. <laughs> Get ready. Keep going. Nothing to lose. What makes you say that, Karthus? Because I agree with you, but I think what you're thinking is not actually true. I know that sounds like a dickish thing to say, but... If you're talking about them jumping the low kick, that's a feature of this game. We're 
just ready. Fight! Yeah, so the, whenever the computer jumps my lows, that's because that's how the dodge button in this game works. If you hold the dodge button, you will automatically avoid all low and all high attacks. The trade-off is you can get hit by mids, and if you get thrown while you're holding that button down, you cannot break the throw. And considering how good throws are in this game, makes it a really scary prospect to use. <laughs> Who that? Oh shit. Zero six coming through with a donation. Battle Tanks, yes. That is enough dollars for us to order a copy of Battle Tanks. One of the few remaining missing North American N64 games. Thank you very much, Zero Six, for getting us that donation goal. That means we need to set our next donation goal all month long. We're snapping up the cheapest North American N64 carts with all donations. So what's next on the list? Yeah, we're going from cheapest to most expensive, so Clay Fighter is probably not going to happen. <laughs> Alright. Chat's going to disappear off screen. Sorry, chat. Thank you again, 06. We will order that after the stream today. Next donation goal is also $16. Same price. It is... International Track and Field 2000 for $16. Put up, put up. And I will, uh, I will open up a tab right now so I don't forget to buy Battle Tanks later. Thanks again to Zero Six. Actually, hang on a second. I might just pull the trigger on this right away. Also, I never restarted the timer. So I need to add like five minutes to that. Yeah. The best... The best copy on eBay right now is a buy it now. Label's in good shape. Seller feedback is good. Let's read the description real quick here. No description. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pull the trigger on that right now. We're going to buy it right now. From South Dakota. Get me a Battle Tanks. Buying it live, that's right. Live shopping. Ba -da -ba -da. All right, should be here by next Saturday, it says. Cool, done, purchased. Two. I gotta start the timer again. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Battle Tanks is fun. It's probably not like the be it's the best, you know, thing to play on the N64, but... 
Sculptor's Cut has more characters, uh, different mechanics. It's not really any different from like Street Fighter 2 to Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you know? It is an enhanced version of Clay Fighter 63 in a third. Get ready! Fight! Yep. Oh, he almost killed me. <laughs> he almost killed me. There are a couple of the Blockbuster rental exclusives that aren't super expensive, but more often than not, they are. Yep. You're gonna have to drop about a thousand for a copy of Sculptor's Cut these days. It is the most expensive non uh, like variant North American game. What the shit? Good job. Good job. Three point one. Yeah, but because it's the the money cart, it's the prize cart. It just elevates and elevates. Like it's nowhere near the level of craziness of either of those or most other systems. You know, outputs they're the rarest cards, but when you have the reputation for being number one, you just inflate. Ladies and gentlemen, ready. Yeah, there are fakes out there for sure. I know one of the retro stores in Albuquerque ended up buying a fake and paying full payout for it because they didn't realize it was a fake. Okay, this is gonna be. Ready, fight. Yeah, if you had bought that, that would have been a nice little turnaround. <laughs> a repro for 200? Gross. You really gotta be careful. With N64, there aren't a ton of repros that aren't super obvious, but on the really expensive stuff, you definitely have to... Definitely have to be careful. We are just warming. Ready, fight. Right blue PCB, oof. I'll be honest, I go to a, lo a lot of effort to make sure that my stuff that I buy isn't fake. 
But if I ever got caught buying a fake, I wouldn't be too mad unless it was really expensive, you know? If it was like a $60 game, I could live with that. If it was in the hundreds, I'd be pissed. <laughs> No! I mean, the trick is to just not pay that much. <laughs> Don't pay a lot for it. Man, he won't even commit to buying real games to talk shit about him. What a scrub. Worst YouTuber all time. Garbage. Garbage content. Yeah, I don't endorse going full pirate, but I understand to some degree the mentality. It's not for me. I've never been to a retro game con, and I strongly doubt I ever would, for a variety of reasons. God damn it.
All that's left are all the characters I suck with. It's not input read arc. It's a mechanic in this game. You can literally hold a button down and hop all those. I'll show you. Yep. It loses to mids and throws. Mids and throws. <laughs> Come on. Nice move. On point one. Ready. Fight. Wow. Three point one. Hey, I'm just going to go ahead and say this conversation about uh, gatekeeping is not my favorite, and I'd like it to stop, please. Thank you. It is not jalapenos, because I hate jalapenos. It's probably just extra cheese. I can only have one thing. I can't really get sick of extra cheese if I want a pizza. Pepperoni I eventually get tired of. Extra cheese is always good. Okay, ready, fight! Come on! <laughs> Nothing to lose! Yep, it's really a hundred wins in a row, Kadrian. <laughs> and I don't know how we're gonna do it. I really don't know how. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind pineapple on pizza, it's just not my favorite. I find that the pineapple is like too watery and too acidic. So after like a slice, it's it's worn out, it's welcome. But also I'm a I'm a big cold pizza eater and pineapple cold on pizza is not great. Oh, 
like a pineapple chip on pizza might be pretty good. If you put it through like a food dehydrator or something. All right, cool. Cool counter. Going for the Hail Mary here. Got it. No! Alright, I got a point for a pity point. Whole one hundred dollar bills. Get a little cocaine on your pizza. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, I just want to stop playing this so much right now. Mailing is knocked down. Ready! Fight! Spiral jump. And then Shuhashu. Tenka Kuhosho. That's not gonna work. No. I don't ever look into it in advance. I was like, a fighting game will be fun. I haven't done a fighting game yet. And then the unlock conditions like, hey, get fucked. Hey, if you, it'd be cool if you could get fucked. I did. I did get fucked. It felt bad. And it still does. And I'm strongly considering quitting this game for now and playing something else, because I'm just really in, not in a good mood and kind of demoralized at the moment. <laughs>
ready! Fight! Shout! Move! Keep going! Come on, let's do it! Get! Be careful! Get! Watch out! Move! Be careful! That was a very good move! Someone's gonna have something. Some character in this game's gotta have something that's just really effective for survival mode. But even then, like, I just get grabbed once and that's the end of it. Like, I'm so inconsistent with throw escapes. I just hate how quickly it can go bad. Like, in a normal survival mode in a fighting game, like, you kind of know, based on how your health bar regenerates, what your what your outcome is looking like. You can kind of gauge your performance and prepare in long term for negative consequences. In this game, you just get grabbed and don't react quickly enough, and it's like, oh, you lost. Like, you dominated everyone else up till now, but yeah, you got grabbed once, so sorry about that. It's gonna be it for you. I might not get any of my shit to come out. Yeah, they have, this one has a pretty good soundtrack. I haven't played the second one yet. Not enough fiber, that's why I can't get my shit to come out. That's right. Correct. Do it again. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Out poking me. I'm gonna lose this round. Good to know. I was talking about moves, but I'll bear that in mind the next time I'm concentrated. Tenth year student, Jesus man. It's time to ready. I do not envy you, but I hope that it's fulfilling. That was a very good move. Wow! Right. Right. Out! 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 Out!
Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing, right? If you spend so much time and, and energy and effort and money to get that far, that like once you're in that deep, the only way you'll be able to recover from all those choices is just to keep doing it. Oh, good. Now we lose. Uh, okay, I did not get Enkuthai. He specialed me, I can't believe he specialed me. Oh. Oh, good. Good. Very good. Ready. Fight. Nothing to lose. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I don't want to do this anymore. And Kuthai and Sliding 2. Why couldn't I back up? break. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing this when I get back, honestly. I might table this for now. I'm just so unhappy. 
I don't know. I gotta think. I gotta walk away and I gotta think for a few minutes, lest I become overtaken with disappointment and rage. So I'll be back in, uh... I'll be back in a few minutes.
one. Ready. Fight. was a very Go good in. move! Hey, he he got got Amazing art! Good throwing! Two points one! Ready! How's it going? I have determined that um,
I don't have the patience for this tonight. My thumb hurts, my soul hurts, my brain hurts. I gotta put it away. I'll come back to it. But I can't. I can't continue on like this. Let me do a little bit of housekeeping real quick, and we'll play something else. Thank you guys for waiting. Sorry if you're here for Fighter's Destiny. Ready, fight. But yeah, this game just broke me. <laughs> this game broke me and it's play what I want month and I don't want to play this anymore. Ready, fight. Come on. But I am eating 3D Doritos to be in maximum N64 mode. Tokyo Extreme Racer? No, it's not a JRPG. Forty Doritos with nacho flavor that goes forward and backward through time. Yeah, my Twitch breaks all that stuff too, because I'm in creator dashboard. So my margins are way bigger. And also are adjustable. Alright, Fighter's Destiny, you beat me. You beat me today. I'll get my revenge later. Today, the victory is yours. I concede. Twitch does have a Windows app. Yeah. It absolutely does. I've, like, used it once. Alright. What's the opposite of that game? What's the opposite of Fighter's Destiny? That's what I need right now. That's what my body craves. Can't do Cruise in USA. We've already done that one. We can do a game I've never played before, though. You can play Monopoly. The fuck is this music? I think the animations are kind of clean. I can also barely hear it. What's up, Retro Canadian Gamer? There are no columns on N64 now.
Saturn does have columns. I'm doing all right. I just got completely beaten and demoralized by Fighter's Destiny, but we'll move. We'll move on to it at some other point. Iron. Yeah, as far as I can tell. Win a game. I'm going to keep this as game 30, because we're going to finish it before Fighter's Destiny. Oh shit, we got credits. Steve Martin. This is kind of what you expect from a game like this. Right? You don't have to, um... Go crazy... With the presentation on this game, so like what little you can affect, you can go all out on. Is this only four players? That's kind of shitty. You can hot seat. <laughs> it's not a game with like real time components. We can probably 1v1, but like on the NES, you can play 8 player Monopoly. Alright, I must continue to impress upon all of you no hints or back seats. Board textures are mad blurry. Alright. Let's see what we're looking at here. I've taken down all the information on Fighter's Destiny. Press start to play. Standard game, short game, timed game, restore game. Okay. Timers reset. Percentages reset. Nah. No voting on pieces. Standard game, please. Add human. Oh, shit. What's the... Oh, the money bag. What's up, drag? Maybe the ship. The wheelbarrow. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not a it's a weird looking wheelbarrow. It's like really boxy for some reason. Young... Are there no spaces? I guess there's no spaces. Money. Uh, I'm gonna set them all to intelligent, I think. I guess bold is also good. We'll mix them up. Apparently no, you cannot rename the computer players. Yeah. Maximum four players. That's weird. Strike one. <laughs> Gameplay options. Walking animations on. Let's turn this let's crank up these fucking jams. Let's turn these sound effects down. They're really kinda loud. 
No, I'll just leave him in medium, that's fine. Game rules options. Oh, they got house rules, huh? Free parking pot. Double money for landing on go. Even build rule. Go around once before buying. I mean, this isn't like a ton, but this is a pretty robust customization screen. These are kind of like the de facto most common house rules. Really, rent immunity in trading is on. It's weird. That's kind of cool. Completely fuck up the game, but it's cool. Alright. Let's do this. What up, Gunstar? Always good when the computer can't get properties on its first go around. Chance cards all day. This is my first time playing this one. What's up, Sharpie? How's it going? The textures are really super uneven. Like, the board is really blurry. But some of the stuff, like, the Monopoly guy looks really good. The tokens look pretty good. These Doritos are really good. What do we got? Tennessee? Oh yeah, give me those oranges. Give me those orange properties. Oh, wait, community chest. Well, I got my money back. <laughs> the board text, yeah. How y'all doing tonight? Okay, butt Satan. Why don't you chill out a little bit? I need you to chill out a little bit. You're at like a you're at like a nine right now. I need you at like a negative four. Okay, so it shows the properties constantly on the screen. That's a nice touch. I don't want railroads. This is just trading leverage. But I do need trading leverage. Especially in a four-player game. What am I going for? The only way this could be more authentic is if I was drinking a Surge right now. Yeah, Mr. Ass is playing Monopoly with Mrs. Ass, Ass Jr., and Asset. Go to jail! Hi, Mom. I'm in jail.
All right. I'm behind in the property race right now. But only a little bit. This music feels like, um... It's like a mix between hold music and, like... If you were listening to a song, but you were also on, like, prescription medication. And you were just kind of lagging out a little bit in your brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to have the Monopoly. Yep. That's correct. Tylenol Plus. Core. <laughs> oh, that accelerates the game way too fast. RD Ba. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, I do like that too. Boop, boop, boop. Shark to push attack. August thirty second, nineteen seventy five. What's going on over there? Sounds like shenanigans to me. Yeah, cars got a lot. This is pre-Paper Mario. The good news is that since the car hasn't passed go yet, he's going to end up with not a lot of liquid assets. If he goes to jail again, he's sunk. Give me that six bucks. Yeah! Good God, though. He's got- he's one away from three different monopolies. That's gross. He's going to be a problem. It's really curious to me, like, I don't know the, the technical reasons, you know, the N64 and all, but you would think that they would have made the texture, sh since they're doing all these zoomed in angles, like, all the time, that they would focus on getting that texture smooth. I can't, I can't turn the game, I mean, I can turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. Go to jail again. Go to jail again. Go to jail again! Damn it. Yeah. It would have been ridiculous to do an expansion pack requirement on this game, but... 
if it always looked crisp in these close-up shots, it'd be kind of cool looking. I'm gonna buy some water. Oh wait, no one has waterworks? Alright. Fuck it. I'll take it. Don't give the car money. He doesn't need money. He's got too many properties. Don't give him money. So I guess I'm shooting for light blues is kind of like my best chance right now. Wait. Oh, he mortgaged. He's mortgaging to buy properties? Oof. Oof, bro. Bro, I need to talk to you about finances. I don't want that. I don't want that card. This music sounds drunk. <laughs> Can I only trade on my turn, I guess? Mediterranean. Ah, there we go. What do these icons mean? Trading partner is... Uh... Uh... Iron. Hello, Iron. Um... I would like you to give me North Carolina. Am I doing this right? Oh, no, I'm not. This is a really weird interface. Alright. And I will offer you... Uh, this railroad that I have. And... And... Uh, 180 bucks. What do you say? Sound good? Trade rejected. I'm willing to go as high as $291. Alright. Screw you. That dog has a lot of joints. <laughs> that dog has a lot of visible joints. Oh, hell yeah. Four, 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 four. Nine. Nine might be good too. You can unblock the Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. It really. 
it's fine for a lot of stuff, but whenever the N64 tries to put text on a texture, like, it always falls apart. Hi, Ern. Ern, I don't understand why you sent the gifts that you sent me, and you didn't respond to my question mark. Go to jail. Get the get the heck to jail. Uh -huh. There's a go to jail in community chest and in chance. Oh, okay. Take his money! Take his money! No! Don't give him that. Send him to jail. All the yellows are owned. He had to mortgage again. Okay. There's a second TV, and it's not very big. All the reds are owned, too. Oh no, I gave money to Carr. I'll go to jail. No, I don't want to go to jail. No! I would like to get out of jail. How do I do that? How do I... Oh shit, free look camera. Is there a moon in this game? It's got dynamic, like, day-night <laughs> lighting and shit. That's kind of cool. If you press the L button, it tells you what the control stick is. Words from the programming manual. Yikes. No! Wait, that's chance, never mind. Go to St. Charles place. Dog is out of jail. All right, I kept wondering, like, why stuff hadn't been going to auction. I keep forgetting the computer's been mortgaging to buy stuff. Is this the block? It's the block! Dogs are not in jail, they're just hanging out. The cat was in here for a little bit today. Didn't want to leave. Cash, always a good thing. Hmm. 
Oh, more cash. Take it. Yeah. She was in the backyard. I'm the voice recognition unit, which is used for two games. There's no ceiling fan in the master, really. Hmm. Interesting. Kamchaka. Dog's in jail again. Ah, uh, dog's always going to jail. All dogs go to jail. Was it what, uh... It was silicon graphics, right? Must have liked what they saw. I mean, like, they've been working with Silicon Graphics since, I want to say, like, 93. I remember when they were teasing Project Reality, a 32 bit successor to the Super Nintendo. That never came to pass. This game is going to take a long time to develop, unfortunately. The way it's panning out. I don't think anyone's going to get a fast monopoly unless I can mess with the computer. Or if I get really lucky. The echoing abyss, yeah, you can just hear the dice just go for miles. <laughs> You know, NES Monopoly was my first, and it will always be my favorite. I think it's just a very streamlined game. I think it, it's got a really strong pace to it that a lot of the later Monopolies don't have. But I've been alright with this, I think. I'd have been okay with picking this up for like 15 bucks back in the day. chest? Yeah. That's an okay roll. Game Boy version is okay. Yeah. Uh, so we were playing Fighter's Destiny earlier tonight, and the last character unlock in that uh, 
requires you to win a hundred rounds in a row in survival mode, which I am not capable of right now. And I was getting really salty, and I just kind of felt bad, and so I put the game down. Since this month I'm picking all the games, I, I, I couldn't do it to myself. No, I got about halfway through the Master Challenges. All the characters that are left are ones that I'm really bad at, and I don't... I was just beating my head against it. It was... I was kind of blacked out a little bit, just like being really angry and not paying attention to what was happening on screen. Need more sleep? Maybe. I'm always looking for uh, instant win cheese moves. Yeah, Fighter's Destiny is sick. I think it's a, I think it's a good game. Um, I just think that the the last unlocks are going to be really tough. I have never played Fighter Destiny two though. All right, I want a four or a seven. Yes! Let's go! Give me that. Now if I can just roll a three, I can win this game. You looking for the spreadsheet? I got you. This is a bot-free zone. When Skynet comes for us, you'll all be able to hide out in here and be safe. It is in the Discord, that's true. I always forget about that. <laughs> I need to just take those other, the, the next ten games on the list off, because we have five director's chairs in a row coming up, so those numbers are meaningless. It's minimal, you know? Ah, so close. It gets the job done. I'd like to pretty it up a little bit someday, but that requires more time than I have to give towards stream layout. Cash prizes! Chameleon Twist was a blast. Chameleon Twist was so good. Um, I think I would have been really mad had I bought it brand new and beaten it so quickly, but um, it was really fun. It was, you know, it didn't overstay its welcome. There's some camera problems. It's a very, uh, very primitive N64 camera. But it was really fun. I liked it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But at least that dog found its way home. Doubles are good. I have seven properties, which is tied with the car for the most. No, I'm sorry. Car has fucking nine. both kissing Blanca. That's nice. Everybody's landing on their own properties right now. 
Get away from my Connecticut. You get the hell away from my Connecticut. Back up to 900 bucks. Big rolls. Big rolls. Alright, so I'm 14 away from where I want to land right now. I think I'd like to have a medium sized roll or small doubles. <laughs> What's up, Toeflan? I do like to play real life Monopoly as well. But I'm a, I'm a stickler for rules. Oh shit. There goes the last grain. Yeah, if you don't add rules to it, it it gets the job done pretty steadily. All the house rules do is make the game really muddy and take forever. Yeah, seven's good, actually. That's pretty pretty good there. Don't make me go anywhere. Ah, oh, that sucks, but... I see another seven, and I'm I got a Monopoly. Ticket Redemption Arcade Monopoly. I have not played that. There's always one cheater. Just punch him in the throat. If you ever see a cheater, just punch him in the throat. Speed dice? What's speed dice? Twenty bucks. I don't think I've played with speed dice before. I've never played Pokemon. I have a Nintendo Monopoly, but I don't. I've never played Pokemon Monopoly. Pokemon Monopoly. Is it called Pokemon Monopoly or is it called Poke Monopoly? Because it has to be called that. Otherwise, they they blew it. All right. Seven. 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 What's up, Trachea? They got rid of a few pieces. They've been rotating pieces in and out. Don't roll a seven. Don't roll a seven. No, I'm the car. Oh, he can't afford boardwalk. He's going to mortgage more stuff. What a weird strategy. Alright, I need a three. Let's keep it low. Give me that three. That's not a three. You're in Detroit seeing your friend Michael. You gonna get some De Detroit style pizza while you're there? You gonna go to, uh. You gonna go to, uh. Somewhere in Detroit? You gonna go to White Castle? <laughs> Played hell of Monopoly back in the day. Nice. Well, then this is appropriate. So what hasn't been bought yet? Baltic, Connecticut. And that's it. Baltic and Connecticut are the only two properties left on the board.
Let's see if, um... My trading partner is Dog. I would like you to give me Mediterranean Avenue. Ah, this interface is so weird. And in return, I will give you $50. No? $68. You want a haiku about the Mediterranean Avenue and Baltic Avenue Monopoly? You can't ever win by just being a slumlord. So save your money. There you go, Toa Plan. Here's your haiku. I say as I'm trying to get these properties. <laughs> am I? Am I naked? I don't feel tardy. What's up, Tex? $80. Take it or leave it. A hundred dollars. Take it or leave it. Damn, okay. Double sixes allow for fighting another property. There was a game that I my friend used to have that I ended up getting uh, and it got destroyed in a flood or something. No, it was in my friend's trunk and it got water damaged. But it was a game called Solar Quest. And Solar Quest is basically just Monopoly in space. Um but it had some really unique rules. There was like, you had to roll high enough to escape a planet's orbit. So if you kept rolling low, you'd stay stuck around the same property. Yeah, Solar Quest kicks ass. <laughs> Solar Quest is so, so much better than Monopoly. Except um, there's an optional rule for like fuel. You have to pay fuel costs. And it is a nightmare to... Uh, to stay fueled. Um, Jupiter has the most properties. Jupiter has 11 properties to its monopoly. Uh, the most expensive... I don't remember what the most expensive was. The way the game works, there's no like building houses. You can only build fuel stations. So it's just like the more you have of each... So instead of, you know how like in Monopoly it's this is the rent. If you get all the Monopoly, the rent doubles, then you add houses. In Solar Quest, it's just like, if you have one moon of Jupiter, it's this much rent. If you have two moons of Jupiter, it's this much rent. If you have three, it's this much, and it just keeps going up and up and up from there. Go the dog! How dare you, Jackalopes. How dare you. I need this car to go to jail. No, um... I... I flushed Fighter's Destiny for now. Because it was making me feel bad. If you roll 10, I swear to God. Whew. Sometimes. It was just like, physically it was too demanding for me, mentally it was too demanding for me. I don't have the patience for it tonight. So the, op the options were stop streaming for the night or 
change games. What's up, DB? I elected to change games. Ah, uh, the computer chose these three tokens, so no, no shoe this time. That's money for me. Big doubles. Exactly, exactly, Trachea. That was kind of my stance on it, too. What game would I like to see a Monopoly edition of? I would like to see... Um, probably... Uh, Mickey Mouse's car. I'm gonna say... Killer 7 Monopoly. Each of the pieces is a different personality of, uh, of Mr. Smith. Oh yeah! Big money chance. Big money chance. Let's go. Hook it up, car. Roll those, roll those sixes. Pay the ship. Boo. Oh. Stunts. Alright, this is a good spot to be in again. Seven for Connecticut. I love the way it looks. I'm a big fan of Killer7. Big, big fan. Yeah, it's true. They're all very, like, low diagonal... Like, running board shots. It's great. No More Heroes 3 is gonna be cool. Yeah. Beep boop beep, beep boop beep, beep boop beep. That's more money for me. I'm, I'm making most decent money right now. I just need to get a Monopoly going. Okay, all right. I am prepared to overpay for Mediterranean Avenue. I'm ready to do it. You give me that. And I give you... You know what? I'll give you 118 bucks and I get a jail free card. What do you say? What do you want? Do you want electric company? Because that's not happening. Ugh. I said I was ready to overpay for it. Yo. 230. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. <laughs> you can keep that piece of shit. No thank you. Now if you roll a five, I swear to god. Give him the blood. Alright, 
we're in danger here. Uh, when I was in high school, there was a kid whose name I'm not gonna say, uh, but I asked him for a trade once, and he said he would trade it to me if I gave him all my money and all my properties and quit the game. And just like the audacity of it made me see red. <laughs> I was so mad at him. Seven. Seven. Yes! Alright, ball game. Let's go. Like he could have just said no. But he had to he had to get spicy on me. <laughs> hey, the car is good, pizza party time. Car is good. Alright. It's time to make shit happen. You have to defeat all enemies. This is a full game. No, Jackalopes, chill out. Oh, it's daytime in Monopoly Town. Can you set? I think you can save mid game, yeah. Save game between turns. Yeah. Roll seven or a six. What? I give him orange. Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm okay with this, but only if you uh, only if you pay me out, bro. I'm not gonna get saddleback with your fucking mortgages. How much do I need to leave him with? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't need it. I'll get your property. I'm patient. I'll get your property. Uh, it's probably like I think it's like eighty something to unmortgage them both. Maybe 110, something like that. Point is, if I made that trade with him, I'd be putting him in a position of power, because I don't have the funds right now. Like, if someone lands on my hotel a couple times, or even just once, then it becomes worth it to me to make that trade, because I have the funds to immediately flip those back off mortgage and establish buildings on them. But with only 400 bucks in the bank, it's... It's putting me in a weaker spot than it is him, and I recognize that, and I decline the offer. But see, now, now, it's a bit of a different story, because now I have a thousand dollars in the bank again. And the dog goes to jail. Jail dog. Jail dog goes to jail. Favorite dice roll with two, two D6s? I would say a nine with one three and one six. Is my favorite dice roll. Oh no. They got me. Oh, 
Alright. That's better. 369. Where did this ship go? Turbo ship! Uh, I'm in a really good spot right now. As long as the computer doesn't... Uh, as long as the computer doesn't um, collude, I think I'm in a position to win this game. <laughs> it's a good song. Oh, hell yeah. That's me. That's my railroad. You had a steak tonight? You guys, you hadn't had one in over a year. Do you like steak? I don't like steak very much. I'm not a steak fan. to go to go go to jail oh shit everyone's in jail well, I'm gonna make that trade offer with me again I don't actually think the dice in this are physics objects, because if you see the rolling animation, it's very, like, it's very up and down. There isn't a lot of rotation on the dice. I think what it is, it's a canned animation. Like, it does a, it does a random number draw, and then it has a canned animation to get. They might be physics objects, though. I don't know. Only eat steak at restaurants. Jackalopes, calm down, man. Please calm down. The frame rate, yeah, I mean, maybe. It's not much to go off of on the N64, but it is a possibility. Yeah, people are, like, really energetic tonight. I don't know what's what's up with that. Okay. Yeah, he, all right, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. I do still want a little bit of cash, because it is going to cost me some money. No? Last warning, Jackalopes. I'm gonna put you in the in the playpen if you don't chill out. Hmm. It's kind of worth it for me to make this deal, just because of how much more money I have. But I'd like to get a little bit out of him. Yeah, you did. There we go.
Okay, I can't go full on developer here, because I will... Wait, what just happened? I will lose all my money. Yeah, the car had to mortgage more stuff, because he built houses on the orange and then landed on luxury tax, so he had to... Mortgage more stuff. Alright, I'm willing to spend... 600 here for now. Young Money's running them so far. I did just cough up a monopoly for additional power, but... We'll see what happens with that. We'll see if it was a good idea. You can you can get me a copy of Clay Fighter 64 Sculptor's Cut. A legitimate one. Jack Lopes. That's what it would take. <laughs> yeah! Let's see you sell those houses, dum dum. He didn't. He sold a couple. I think he sold one house so far. I've got the money. I need to finish before anyone else can go. I need to, uh, drop the bucks. Let's get some hotels going. I think I just screwed up. And spent more money than I needed to. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, shit. Is he gonna give money? Yeah, he is. He's gonna pay the car. Damn it. That's bad. Two hundred bucks. That's dangerous. That's dangerous, and I don't like it. Alright, keep it low, keep it low, keep it low. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's GG car right there. Look at the power. Principle. 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 This is the realest game. Principle. Principle. Alright, I'm broke. But, I'm strong. Cash flow generation happens through me. Good luck, peons. Fifty bucks. I'm back in triple figures. I, no, you're you're being really obnoxious, Jackalopes. And yeah, if you don't turn it around like immediately, I'm just gonna time you out for like a week.
The iron is pretty dumb looking. Apparently there's, uh, Executioner mentioned it briefly, there's a secret piece in this game. There's a code to play as a secret piece. Paperboy? You think the weirdos want Paperboy? Do I own Park Place? No, I don't. Paperboy is a tough game. Paperboy is a challenging game. What a... yeah. Alright, and from prison I will be increasing my strength. No, I can't. It's not my turn. Wait, yeah I can. This interface is really confusing to me for some reason. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. Okay, he, ran, he rolled past it anyways. Earning in prison like a true hustler, that's right. I've they go for quite a bit. I mean it's a cool cab and like it's got a unique control scheme, so it makes sense. Yeah, Paperboy was an arcade game originally. Yeah, let's just go crazy, why not? Ninety nine bucks. Paperboy Two on Super Nintendo has really powerful Seinfeldian bass, and it's also loud as fuck. That game is so loud. Everything on that game is just max volume for no reason. What's up, Clay? I think if you put Paperboy 2 in an Outrunners cab, it would be louder than Outrunners, yeah. No, I don't think I did to a plan. That last captain's auction was depressing. Like, we were just priced out of everything. We might stop we might stop working with them just because it's not worth it for us anymore. You had a crappy goat. Ooh, ooh. I can't remember if, uh, if Super Nintendo Paperboy 2 had the voice clips, too. Because Genesis Paperboy 2 has voice clips, and they're also terrible. You crash your bike, and it says, What a jerk I am. Jesus Christ, 13k for a tapper, man. And people like their butt wiser. Must have been the Genesis version then. Man cave. I was actually thinking about playing Paperboy 64 soon. I might get to it this month. We'll see.
Paperboy 64 was the only N64 game I tried to emulate back when N64 emulation was really new. I had a shit computer, and that game was the only thing that kind of came close to working. What's up, anime fan? Iron's dead. Dog's dead. Decline. I don't even care what the trade is. You're going down, dog. Which horror movie did you watch? And we win! We are the champion. 1cc. Monopoly. Game over. Look at that big trophy I got. Kind of looks like the trophy got second place. Like, they've made this... They made this, like, winner's podium, but... Okay, that's it. There's no credits. The credits are doing the control or the the opening crawl. So, uh, the secret piece is Mr. Potato Head. This was all right. You know, it's Monopoly. I think that the house rules uh, menu was really a nice touch, a great additional feature in this mode. Um, but limiting it to four players sucks. Not being able to play against bots or play in like an eight player hot seat mode, that sucks. Alright, hang on a second. We'll show you guys, uh. No, it's only if you sit through the intro long enough do you get credits. We'll show you guys two things here. One is that you can set it to British Monopoly if you so choose. I don't like that sound effect. Bloop, bloop, bloop. If we go standard game add players, uh, add human, choose the money bag, and name the money bag. Potato. Then you get a Mr. Potato Head. There he is. Looking good. Let's buy Pentonville Road. Oh, he's so slow. Oh, he's the worst. For 120 quid, I'll buy Pentonville Road. This is the UK version. This is UK Monopoly. Big Top of Evil. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Yep. Uh, American Monopoly takes place in Atlantic City. British Monopoly... I'm not sure where it's supposed to be. Alright, Ern. Have a good night. I love you. Voin Street. He looks so sad. Northumberland Avenue. Alright, well that's Monopoly. Like I was saying, the house rules uh, options menu is a really great touch for, the, for this generation of Monopoly games. 
But the uh, just only limiting it to four players, I think. Big, big lost opportunity there. All right. Bye, Jackalopes. See you later. Nah, you know what? Let's just go with that. All right, Monopoly's done. Monopoly is over. Good game. I'll give Rich Uncle Penny Bags a little smooch. Um, well, now I got to figure out what to play next. So I'll be back in a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to take a quick break, get some water, think about the next game. Try not to think about Buttweiser. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay.
Alright. I think I'm going to continue my feel-good tour of the night. Thank you guys for waiting. And I'm going to, uh... I'm going to do something that also shouldn't take too long to beat, but we'll see. Sometimes I'm wrong about these things. I often am. I am a frequent wrong boy. The spreadsheet has been updated. Monopoly is off the board. We have 370 games left to beat. N64 Risk, man. It'd be cool if they made that, but I suck so much at Risk. Um, since taking control, I have finished five games this month. Gunstar wins the biscuit. Gunstar wins the biscuit. We're going to play Namco Museum 64. Well done. Well done. Nice shot. Gunstar Heroes, by the way, if you guys like these, this challenge content, Gunstar Heroes is doing the Game Gear Gauntlet, which is something that I do not have the fortitude to do. And he's playing through all the Game Gear uh, North American releases, as well as a few bonus games sprinkled throughout as well. So please give Gunstar a holler and a check. He's a great dude and a party magnet. All right, bong. I'm gonna have to clean this one. You have to clean this one. No bong. You beat a dizzy game, dude. Pyramid Solitaire is one of my absolute all-time guilty pleasures, and it is hard as shit. I feel for you. But I used to spend like twelve hours in a row playing Pyramid Solitaire on Yahoo Games. I would stay up all night. In high school. I'm the lamest teenager in the world. Or was. I would stay up all night in high school playing Pyramid Solitaire on Yahoo Games. Listening to all my favorite songs and music and CDs. And it was a very nice thing for me to do. I am proud of you, Quix. It looks good, too. Looks like you did a good job. Or at least you picked a good one. So Namco Museum 64 is one of three Namco games on the N64. Namco and Nintendo had a really big falling out. And uh, that's why they gave so much support to the PlayStation. I think they only released two or three. I think it's two and a half, technically. Because Namco was not involved in Ridge Racer 64, if I'm not mistaken. Yahoo Pool is a lot of fun. What's up, Wall Boy? Don't use Brasso on your carts, unless it's the only thing left to try to revive a dead cart. Oh, okay. So, I always forget about Maze Madness. Yeah, Famista, and then Ridge Racer 64 was done by um, N NCL or NST. I think it was NST. Yeah, sometimes I didn't wear pants. All right. Let's uh, let's edit some stuff. Maze Madness is multi-platform, yep. Namco Museum 64 Part 1. Um, I don't know what to do here. I think what we're going to do... In order to make this like not just a not just a cake like a, a full on bunt, I'm gonna give myself a bit of a challenge here. Game number thirty one. Namco Museum sixty four. Uh, we're gonna say beat all default high scores 
and watch all Pac-Man theaters. I'll double check speedrun to see if there's anything over there on it. We're getting one. Yep, just one rhythm game. Kill screen every game. Yeah, okay, guys. All right. That's enough out of you. <laughs> Punch Billy Mitchell. Um, I don't think there is a speedrun category for this, actually. So yeah, I think this is the goal we're going to have to go with here. Let's see. Yeah, the Namco Museums on uh, PlayStation 1 are the only ones that I really care about because they were actually putting some dank... Like, Namco made so many games, and a lot of them have never had home ports, especially in the mid to late 90s. It would be such an easy thing for them to just keep releasing Namco Museums in my mind. Five games on a disc, or do it as, like, digitally. Like, I don't give a shit. But they just always pump out the same 20 games because that's what most people want. But I would love for someone... It doesn't have to be Namco. I would love for any company who had a strong arcade presence, like Taito or Sega or Konami or Capcom. Like that, Capcom has done a pretty decent job with their stuff. But um, just to have like good official archives of all this stuff would be really, really nice. Yeah, it's loud. Okay, we got a beat. Bro, you're banned. <laughs> I appreciate it. I hope you like watching. What if Pac-Man had a gun? Oh, look at this crunchy resolution. Yikes. Okay. We're gonna do the Pac-Mans last, since they have the uh, additional goals to them. I think we're gonna go from bottom to top here. Capcom's US archives were shit, you know people that work there, people stole shit from the archives so often. Nice. Dig Dug is one of my favorite arcade games of all time. Um, oh, we got dip switches. That's nice. Like, I think Dig Dug is probably my favorite... What is this? This is Silver Age, right? People call this, like, Silver Age arcade. I think it's probably my favorite one. Dip switches are, they do different things for every arcade game, but they're binary switches that affect, you know, various, you know, operator settings like enemy speed or like how often you earn a, an extra life or if the game is on free play or not. Mr. Driller is very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I never started the timer. <laughs> Hang on. We'll let, this, we'll let this play for a few seconds while I get some water in me. Nope, not everything on the N64 is 3D. There's the Bongo era, the DDR era, and the everything else era. Well, it's not better than Bongo. What's up, D-Wind? 
Is this really loud to you guys? It's really loud to me. Pretty loud? Okay. Why is it so loud? Let's let's do that. No, I turned it down from the last game actually. I did remember to adjust the OBS audio settings. This game is just apparently fucking loud. <laughs> So yeah, this is like the only classic arcade game that I can go to an arcade and sit on for like a while on one credit. I don't really have the skills in a lot of other older arcade games. I'm not very good at arcade games in general, but I have parked on a Dig Dug for like 15-20 minutes on a single play, which I'm pretty proud of. Oh boy. Nah. They did. They definitely did. I mean, PlayStation, it's its documented that uh, Sony of America was the same way. They didn't bring a lot of stuff over uh, because they wanted everything to look like it was cutting edge. But even early N64, like, you had games like Wonder Project and NBA Hangtime and uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy that were definitely not 3D. It was just kind of in vogue at the time. Everyone was trying to make 3D. Had more people made 2D games on the N64, I think it would have aged a lot better. People would have a lot more fond memories of it. Alright, we're about to break the Dig Dug default. There we go. I don't go for the fancy stuff with the rocks. It's too risky in my mind. When I'm playing for score, I'll do it, but if I'm playing for survival, I would rather just have uh, Taizo here do things the easy way. Yeah, you gotta kill all the underground monsters by inflating them with your pump. If they had done, because they were doing all those arcade remakes in this era, shit. Like Centipede and Asteroids and Qbert and all that. If they had done a Dig Dug one with like shitty PS1 3D, I would have played it. I absolutely would have played it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> well, Dig Dug's not going great. Did they do a Dig Dug one? I don't remember that. Oh, damn it. Whatever. Ba 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 ba. Go for the world record now. What is the world record? The game doesn't tell you. Diggus Duggus. What's up, Marmot? Ah. Oh, we can continue. Uh, hang on a second. Let me check something real quick. I don't think Dig Dug Arcade... I know Dig Dug 2 has Dig Dug Theater. I don't think Dig Dug 1 had anything. But it's worth checking. Seeing as continue feature is enabled... Uh... Relcor! Less than three. Thank you for the 34 months. Much appreciated. Just the flowers? Okay, so that's enough Dig Dug then. We'll move on. We'll play... A to never save? What is never save? 
We'll play some pole position now. This will be very quick as well. Tower of Draga. Uh, because your friend was being annoying and inappropriate, and uh, I will ban you also if you don't let it go. Is that, uh... Does that answer the question? What's up, Pegasus? Uh, I just tried to go to the analog stick and it felt worse, so yeah, I am playing with D-pad. The Jiraga franchise is so weird and varied. This is the other 60 FPS racer, this is it. Yep, the Juraga anime. Damn it. Pole position one, the objective is to drive fast, and uh, if you keep running perfect laps, you'll still have enough time to keep driving. Otherwise, you just want to make it as far as you can, pass as many cars as you can for points and then get a good high score at the end. Oh! This is it, this is peak N64 right here. I mean, the emulation is good, you know? Caw. Alright, that's pole position. This is emulation. By 1999, emulation had definitely gotten far enough to handle these games. Oh, there's a goal? Oh, shit. I didn't know there's a goal in pole position. Well, we gotta do that then, right? I've never done that. This is gonna be really hard, I think. I didn't know that there was an actual goal. It was, it was rough, but it was cool because like every month there'd be some really like super crazy high profile game being added to it. I think the stick is too sensitive for this, honestly. Well, I think we're going to be stuck on pole position for a while then. <laughs> I think I've made it to lap three in the arcade before, but I've never finished lap three. Outrun for sure. Outrun's way better. Boop, 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 boop. I don't think we can crash into anything and reach the goal, honestly. I'm gonna give myself a five. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's worth a five.
Magical sound shower. What's up, the opponent? Some Atari stuff is, like, my favorite. A lot of Atari stuff doesn't mesh with me. I've always held that they kind of made games for people who liked, you know, early 80s Atari games all the way through the entire lifespan of their business. Which is great, because someone had to. Like, it's really cool that they kind of served that need. But also, it just meant that a lot of their output wasn't very interesting to me. No, we haven't done Galga yet. We did Dig Dug, now we're doing Pole Position. Prepare to quantify. Prepare to quantify. You were close! Not really, Fidel, but thank you. This feels pretty accurate to me. We have a pole position cab at work, so I've I've played it not that long ago. And this feels fairly accurate. This feels right. I think maybe the sound is a little off. But other than that, you know, obviously no wheel feels very different. God damn it. Boop. Uh, the 5 is from Mario Golf, the You Were Close is from Pokemon Snap, the O is from Animal Forest, um, this is gonna be interesting, is from Conquer, and Failure is from Smash Bros. Damn it. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um, I forget what the site was called. It's, it's not a very good site, like, I could be using a better service, but... They all seem to have trade-offs. I think... The best thing to do is to, like, connect it with a bot, but I don't have a bot. I can't do that. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I made it to lap two that time. <laughs> no worries. Cruise control? I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, the main problem with the site that I'm using is that they limit you to five unless you, like, buy a premium account with them, and I think even then you only get, like, ten. I do like random sounds. Trigger fire seems good, except that it goes down a lot, unless Moe's just turning off sound effects and lying about it. Which I wouldn't blame him if he was. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this all this game only has one track. That was the big thing pole position two added was four playable tracks. I mean look, he's my friend, I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. I can't put him on blast. Even though we're all thinking it, right? The fuck was that? Position. What's up, Duke? All right, I got a new high score. We were just gonna chill out and play some Namco Museum, and then I learned that uh, I learned that this ends. That pole position ends. <laughs> so. Now we're trying to get real good at pole position. Yes, yes I am. How may I help you? Let's go ahead and restart that. God damn, that turn is the worst part of this whole course. Druaga.com. How's your uh, Might and Magic today, Duke? I think you started a fresh game of Might and Magic 2 on the Sega Genesis. They do kind of sound like the emergency broadcast system, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like mind magic. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. Couldn't even finish a lap. Very sad. Let's take a break from this. Let's play some spaceship games. DMG? I would play a Game Boy Advance the most. Galaxian. Oops. 
Galaxian is an okay game. It's a decent Space Invaders clone that is rendered completely unnecessary because Galaga is so much better. <laughs> and apparently there's no default high scores, so we don't have to play this once. Uh, probably just by game. So, like, technically I'd be at, what, whatever 1 over 6 is. 18? 17? 16. 16% complete. Yeah, this is quality sound right here. This is what a video game should sound like. I wonder if you could hack this game to include other, like, similar Namco arcade games, like stuff from this era. Like, if you could put Rally X on here. Dig Dug is my one, like... I'm pretty okay at Donkey Kong Jr., but a lot can just go weird in that game. I think Bongo does run on Galaxian hardware, yeah. Could you put Bongo on the N64? Alright, well that's, uh, that's Galaxian. It's pretty boring. Let's play some Galaga. So yeah, you can't actually change the dip switches manually, but if you change these settings, you can see what dip switches you need to set to make them work on a real arcade game, which is kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Ooh, that is some muffled ass audio right there. <laughs> I know. Perish the thought, right? Scoops? At all. Uh, it's got Donkey Kong and Jetpack in it, if I recall correctly. Double Galaga! It was an embarrassingly long amount of time before I knew that this was a thing you could do in this game. <laughs> I think I was like 25 or something and I saw someone do it at work and I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? You can do that in Galaga? Well, the attract mode was so compelling that I never even watched the whole thing. I was too attracted. That's not the right... I wasn't paying attention because the music was still playing. Well, no perfect.
Uh, Pac-Mania? The one with the jump button in it? Ah, shit! Ah, fuck, I wasn't watching. Damn it. Woo! shot of greatness here. I'm sure this was a $50 game. You have to also bear in mind that when this game came out, the notion of having arcade perfect-ish ports of these era of arcade games was worth paying for. Yeah, Mame had been out uh, for about three years at this point. All of these games, I believe, were playable. Pole position, maybe not, just because of the control difficulties. Yeah, but see, you weren't a, you weren't a dad skank core. So like the analog of that is, if they released um, what this was ninety nine. Uh, let's say, what were the what were the biggest games? Uh, if they released a package that had um, Need for Speed Most Wanted, God of War One, Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, Guitar Hero and Mario Kart DS, would you buy it? Because that's kind of what we're looking at here. Like, if you think about the time frame difference. All right, Gunstar, I'll do my best. Have a good night, man. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, those Namco Museum discs go for an amount now. Some of them do. Would I pay $50 for an arcade perfect port of Mushi King? It's a sad flute. That's the easy three out of the way. The lower right is your level indicator. That's tells you what level you're on. As you progress through the game, the symbols change to different things, to mean different things. 
Ah, oh, I'm not good at Pac-Man, you guys. <laughs> guys, I'm not good at Pac-Man. Let's get stuck in a corner. I guess this game doesn't have the correct default high scores, so this maybe this is an emulation. Because that's something that you would very easily be able to, like... I don't think you could screw that up. Unless it's been altered. No, we didn't finish Fighter's Destiny. We did play through Monopoly. Fighter's Destiny made me too salty. So I flushed it for now. I don't know. I don't know my Pac-Man tech well enough. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. That's hints, and I don't want them. So I'm not going to read your message. I did a bunch of sleeping. I ate some 3D Doritos. You know. Just gamer things. Ah, shit. What's today's gamer toilet, Scotty? Uh, I was using the D-pad, I switched to the stick just now. Ah. Score text is supposed to be red, that's true. Talk, we have a good night. Well, something I can check is like I can turn on screen scroll and see if that provides a more accurate experience. Since this one is scrunched down. Ah, shit. <sighs> no. Maybe it's only for certain games. Oh, there we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Miss Pac-Man. Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures kicks so much ass. I love that game. Is this even the right maze? This looks really weird to me. That is the one where you bully Pac-Man with a slingshot. Weird. The main differences between Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man is that the mazes change every few levels. The fruit moves instead of being stationary. And that's, I think, it, really. One of them is a woman. Get... I don't think... I don't think I could beat any of Lord BBH's high scores. Not a single one. Maybe in a puzzle game. That's like the only shot I have. But even then, like, he can't... He can, he's so much better at the big ones than I am. Ah, really? I'm done with Magical Drop. Don't care anymore. The Baja Blast sounds really good right about now. Get that double XP weekend on Namco Museum. Woo! I'm gonna prestige so fast. I still haven't played Pac Man 99. I should. Ah! Yeah, get some of that water. I'll drink some water with you. What's happening? No! Eh, I could have won right there! But I was scared! And I'm still scared! Damn it. An old Atari player is playing Kit and Caboodle non stop? Nice. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Zing! If I made my own hot sauce, would you guys buy it? <laughs> got me. I got played. I got played by Pinky. Okay, Miss Pac-Man. I had an okay pole position. Pac-Man regular, I'm, I'm a ways off of. You're Google famous, dorky. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a fucking second. Yeah, break is B. It just doesn't work. I like, um... Smoked Chipotle Tabasco. And a little Sriracha is good sometimes. But that's about it. That's all I like. I think the brake pedal's broken on this cabinet. They should make a Namco museum that's like a pachinko game where you're in an actual arcade and you have to inspect each machine to see if it's like playable or not. We talked to Mike Carr. Close. I don't think I got it. I think I screwed up too much. Oh, I was so close.
No, I haven't heard of that. But Clyde Land. <laughs> Fucking but Clyde Land. I think I almost had that. Like, if I didn't hit that billboard, I might have actually won. I might have beaten pole position for the first time in my life. Captain Macaw. How many muscles are in it? I haven't gotten a pole position yet. That's weird. My pole is in the neutral position. But later I'm gonna shift it up to top gear. And run it in the red. <laughs> Good lap. It was a very good lap. This traffic pattern worries me, though. But Clyde. Ah, oh, yeah, that was pretty much unwinnable. Understand your question, Dempsey. Bear Wildfire. My orthodontist when I was a kid had four arcade machines in his lobby. And uh, he had a pole position too. He had a pole position too, a Frogger, a Donkey Kong, and I don't remember what the fourth one was, but they were all set to free play, which fucking ruled. So Namco Museum is a compilation of six arcade games made by Namco. Um, that is why. This is a compilation of games. You had a Vectrex? Holy shit. That rules. <laughs>
Too many cars. Not enough mustard. Is this it? Is this the run? Ah! Uh, what? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I thought it was set to end after three laps. Oh, now it's set to four. Is that the default? Darn it. No. No, I don't. Give me pole position. Brah. Two. Damn. Nineteen eighty two, I think. Alright, let's see if we can do a three lapper.
What's up, Kyo? Yeah, it's playable. It's not fully accurate, but it's playable. I agree, though. PS1 Namco Museum for life. Full agreement. got butt collided. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I just set it to three laps. It was set to four laps by default. But I just set it to three laps. Yeah, we just did three laps, and I was like, cool, I did it, and I kept going, and I was like, oh. <laughs> so I changed the dip switches to suit my needs. And then we got the Pac-Mans to do to get all the Pac-Man theaters, and then we're done with this. I think I can do that. I've done it before. It's just I'm not good enough at Pac-Man to do it reliably. Dabs in chat. Oh, chat loves to dab. Huh. I didn't mean to shift into low. That's okay. That's okay. I panicked and I hit a different button than the one I was supposed to. Oh wow, Namco Circuit. You're gonna crash! Yeah, I didn't want to be on the outside there, but I did not get a choice. Well, I know how the ghosts behave. I'm just not good enough at Pac-Man. What if thinking emoji, but Bart? Beep, beep, beep! Prepare to qualify. 
They should make a cartoon about um, U.S. Army soldiers that can turn into giant koala bears and call it the koalified. That's um, that's my pitch for today. Almost an immediate dumb choice. Wasn't really paying a ton of attention to my surroundings. Traffic is real bad on the Namco circuit today. I think I lost too much time. We'll see. Oh god, that's too many cars. Blah. Hey! Look at the flag girl. did it. We positioned our pole. That was fun. I had no idea you could beat pole position. And that leaves us with the packs. Pack one and pack two. She's doing a great job. Yeah. Everyone say thank you. Can what the uh, what stages are the Pac-Man theaters on? It's like two five nine, isn't it? 
or I guess between after stages two, five, and nine. So we gotta beat nine levels of pack. I think I can do that. It's gonna take me a few tries, but I think I can do that. There's a, there's a couple. It's definitely a game that they were trying to design to bring in female players. Um, there's a lot of design that goes into that. One of the big things is that it's like an organizational sort of mindset. I've read about it with Tetris a lot, where... Um, male players typically like to have a lot of things and get, like, basically to have things continue to accumulate on them to get more and more and more difficult and faster. And female players tend to prefer experiences. And this is from the 80s, mind you, so I don't mean to overgeneralize, but, um, they tend to prefer experiences where you diminish the amount of things that you have to deal with. I'm dead. I don't think I can make it to 25. <laughs> I'm gonna call it done with all Pac-Man theaters viewed. Oh, fuck. Free saw. Well, I mean, that, that's... From his perspective, I can understand where he's coming from, you know? He didn't get to make money off Tetris for a long time because of Soviet Russia. It was a product of the state. So, yeah. He'd be a lot richer of a man if, uh... Well, what do you mean? I got trapped in that... Okay, I can't go that route, because they will just pinch me there every time. God damn it. I'm getting a blinky inky sandwich over and over again. Ah! What is going on? Yeah, that was dumb. I thought I could outrun him. <sighs> I 
Why? Why? Why am I the brainiac? Pac-Man some room. Stealing toilets. If someone stole one of my toilets, I'd be really upset. Nope, that's a trap. Ah! I mean, if you enjoy it, then it's it's fine to keep it going, right? Pac-Man fever and Dracula. Ah, you bastards! This is so hard. Why am I bad at Pac-Man? Like, I know mechanically how everything in this game works, and I just can't apply it to my gameplay. Yeah? There's a few toilet games on the N64. I did it again. 63 and a third isn't a rare game. Sculptor's Cut is the rare one. Dead. If I'd gone right, I might have survived. Fucked, <sighs> fucked, 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 fucked. I'm glad I beat Monopoly in one go. I was a little nervous that it was going to take me a few tries. Just because the AI did not seem very trade dupable compared to the 8 and 16 bit versions of Monopoly. But it worked out.
No, I like Monopoly. I just, you know, I'm trying to beat games. The faster I can beat games, the closer I am to beating all the games. I think it's similar, but I don't think it's the same. I never played the Windows 98 one very much, though. Boy, what have I done? Uh, I just want to see all the Pac-Man theaters. That's my clear condition. See all three Pac-Man theaters beat Stage 9 in both Pac and Miss Pac. And then we're done with the Anko Museum. We've done the other four games. If it was get to the kill screen... I'm a, I'm a jack-of-all-trades gamer. I can't... God damn it! I did it again! I can't, uh commit that much. The Astro, thank you for the follow. Maybe. I will never be the world's best at anything, though. That's just not the kind of person I am. I can finish stuff if I set my mind to it, but I can never ever top the people who dedicate all of their energy to one specific thing. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll be that, the world's best N64 100%er. We're almost at a 10% uh, clear rate, we're just 10 games away or 11 games away, something like that. I don't have a bot, it has to be posted manually. Give me a minute, I'll take care of it. There you go, thank you, Kydrian. Ah! Damn it. I think I'd be a lot better at Pac-Man if they gave you more than one extend per play. <laughs> Not much better, but enough. If I could just rack up extra lives by playing for score, I think I'd probably do better at this game. Oh, we get to see a naked ghost. Ew. Put that away. Oh! Man, this was actually a pretty good start. Those last two deaths were really dumb. Damn it. 
Boom, boom. I'll get DMCA'd if I do that. the absolute fastest you can die in Pac-Man. And I just did it naturally. Not dead. I think there's actually some slowdown on this, sadly. <laughs> Clock, I could do that. Damn it! Ah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> gonna act like there's no extra lives in this ah damn it Ugh, pathetic pathetic <laughs> I wish to plan if I was BBH if I'd become BBH I'd be done with this game by now I 
I could have. But I gotta save some good stuff. Duh. Yeah, you can be BB-8. Alright, all I gotta do is finish five levels without any lives, no mistakes. No big deal, right? <laughs> I think this might be my last run for the night, actually. I've been streaming for six hours. It's getting late. Maybe finish this tomorrow. When I'm awake, go full Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it's an unceremonious time to kill it, I think. We can do this, but it will take some work. Huh. Thank you everyone for watching today. Relcor, thank you for the resub. RD Ba, thank you for the raid. Craig the Retronaut, thank you for the raid. Everyone else, thank you for being here. We finished Monopoly. We postponed Fighter's Destiny. We will finish Namco Museum hopefully soon. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to send you over to Macaw, who's playing the Genesis version of The Incredible Hulk, which is a cool game. It could have been a lot cooler, but U.S. Gold, they uh, they didn't try as hard as they probably could have. But I have finished the Super Nintendo version of Incredible Hulk, and I like it. It's pretty fun. So, turn off the Namco, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Be good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.